That brings me to Robert Kennedy and the influence that he had on my life. I was a 21-year-old college student when Bobby Kennedy ran for president. And it was a, a remarkable campaign, unlike any I've seen before or after. It was a campaign that truly focused on equity and opportunity. It was a campaign about unrepresented farm workers in California. It was a campaign about poverty and hunger and children starving to death in the Mississippi Delta and on the Pine Ridge Reservation. That was a campaign that asked difficult and disturbing questions. Questions about a GDP that measured wealth but not well-being. Questions about how we can allow this to exist, these contradictions in the wealthiest nation in the world. And it asked questions about who we were and how we wanted to treat one another as Americans and as fellow human beings. And if you remember his very short campaign, it lasted 82 days from when he announced until when he was assassinated on June 6th interestingly enough, was the 24th anniversary of D-Day. I was inspired by that campaign because of his sincerity, because of his passion, because of his courage to speak from the heart and say things that needed to be said. And for the moment that he died in Los Angeles, I knew that this is where I wanted to be. And I wanted to commit myself to public service. Now, to me, the central message in Bobby Kennedy's last campaign was this. If a sense of common purpose is essential to build community. And if community is what allows us to come together to do collectively things that we could not do individually, then the strength of a community is inversely proportional to the level of disparity or inequality mm -hmm. that exists within it. What Robert Kennedy was doing in that campaign was calling out the disparities and the inequalities in our society and asking people why we allow them to exist. And that made a lot of people really uncomfortable. That was 46 years ago. And asking the same questions today still make a lot of people really uncomfortable. 